Well, most families are more inclined to enjoy their front yards this summer, like with this summer like weather. Yeah, and yeah. that also means more dogs are outside guarding their homes, and your furry friend can be a problem for some public servants. Two News' is Brandy Halbleib joins us live with the annual issue that starts right about this time of the year, right Brady? Well, the United States Postal Service is urging the public to be aware of their animals, especially this time of year as these carriers are making their routes because it does sound like a cliche, but it's actually become a huge problem as mail carriers make their daily routes throughout the summer season. Now, imagine this. You go to work every single day not knowing that today could be the day that you were bitten by a dog. Now, to put it all into perspective, there were more than 5,800 dog bites across the country last year. That's according to USPS. Three Tulsa carriers were bitten in just the past two weeks. The trend is now forcing Tulsa's USPS to team up with animal control to help carriers stay safe on their daily routes. That's because most people are just not aware of what their dogs are capable of. Oftentimes owners will tell you, oh, my dog won't bite. And, and they're right. They won't bite you as the owner. But a lot of times people are just blown away by the fact that their dog Fluffy genuinely did bite uh, a person that they're not familiar with, which would be the letter carrier. Now, Nicole is a former carrier, and she says she's had a few close encounters herself, and although she was never bitten, it was something that was always in the back of her mind. Now, this week is Dog, Aware Dog Bite Awareness Week, and USPS is now taking this time to get the word out and make sure people are aware of what their pets are actually capable of. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll talk about a few tips that you can do to keep not only the mail carrier safe, but also your dog safe as well. For now, live in Tulsa, Brady Halbleib, 2 News.